What is up my friends? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on that little bell for notifications. You guys, I am doing another collab and I am so excited. I am interviewing this amazing boss babe that is the CEO and founder of this company that is called Music is the Drug. I'm gonna go get her, be right back. All right, you guys, so this is my friend Chelsea Cahoon. She goes by the Sober Raver and she is the owner of Music is the Drug and I'm so happy to have her here today. We about what a year ago, I believe. I think it was I, almost last a year. November, last yeah. November, she was at a concert. I was at the same concert. We both just so happened to have passes for this event. I just remember being in this little area, this like kind of roped off little area, and I look over and there's this girl with this long dark hair, and she's head banging. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, she is loving it. I love this. I love seeing people appreciate the music that I'm into and. I hope her neck's okay, because she's really going at it, you know? I saw her and she kind of comes up to me, introduces herself, she's very sweet, and she gives me a sticker that says music is the drug on it. She tells me she's got a brand. I responded with like, oh my gosh, I have a brand, my name's Anna, and I give her one of my stickers. We've been friends ever since. And what's so cool about what Chelsea is about, aside from the fact she's got a huge heart, she's very kind and genuine, she is sober since birth. And one thing I also really love about you is the fact that you are non-judgmental. So even though you choose to live this lifestyle, you don't judge others that don't live that lifestyle. So I wanna just hear what you have to say in regards to why you chose this for yourself and what kind of got you to make this decision. Absolutely, well first off, thank you so much, Anna, for having me. <laughs> yeah, so my name's Chelsea Cahoon. I'm known as the Sober Raver. I actually am mainly in the rave scene, but pop punk and rock music has my heart. I have been sober, like she said, since birth. Um, when I was a little girl, I just knew in my heart and soul that I wanted to live this lifestyle. It's really no elaborate story. I just mm -hmm. knew from a very young age that I never wanted to use drugs or alcohol. I didn't really understand why people felt the need to put things in their body that weren't necessarily good for them. You know what? I don't need anything extra. I mean, obviously my parents were like, you know, don't drink or do drugs, but like be safe if you're ever gonna drink. You know, so like it wasn't like a parental influence. Obviously they were amazing parents. They still would have loved me even if I did decide to drink. I remember in middle school getting offered my first drink and being like, oh my gosh, this is this is what it's like. And I turned it down and I was like, this is gonna be my lifestyle. You see, so you've never even tasted alcohol or any, any substance. I actually have tasted a a few things just to taste it. I okay. spit it out. So I tasted a beer in Radford. I went to Radford University. It's kind of crazy that I went there. People can't believe that I didn't drink something. But I took a sip of beer and I was like, Ugh. I just want to try it. I just want to see why people like right. this thing. Right. So, and I spit it right out. I was like, y'all are crazy. Like she said, I don't judge anybody for what they do. My whole thing is that you are safe about it. And obviously don't use hard drugs, but I obviously am there for everybody regardless of what you do. I went to 12 you music do. festivals You are a year. huge raver. Yeah, and I mean, drugs are everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you can't be judgmental on that, Sammy. Has it ever been hard for you? I gotta believe, and I know this, because I've been, I go, I'm in the scene too. I mean, I'm not necessarily in the rave scene, but definitely in the rock scene. Um, just festivals and concerts in general, there are drugs there. It's very easy to kind of fall into that. Have you ever had like a time where you felt pressured and you were like, oh my gosh, like, like rethought your decision for a moment? Yeah, so I've never ever had the desire to try any substance. Okay. I mean, you know, most of my friends are like the people I hang out with just smoke weed. Honestly, it's kind of scary to think about putting something like people that I guess use like molly acid. Like, it scares me to think about it. Like, I don't want to change anything up here. Mm -hmm. I just try to show people that literally music itself can get you high. Like, regardless if you use substances or not, music is the ultimate drug. It's the one that connects all of us and that we can all agree on. So, okay, let's talk about music is the drug. So, it's your brand. What is the reason that you wanted to start it? And what is, like, your mission? What is what is music is the drug? What does it mean? Yeah, I went to college for fashion merchandising at Radford, and I thought that I was going to be doing fashion for my life. I, I liked it, but it isn't what my heart is telling me to do. Mm -hmm. I worked in retail at this resort, and I just remember standing there one day and being like, music is my passion. What can I do to, like, show my passion for it? 
And I was like, you know what? I just need to start my own company. I want to start my own company to show the world that music is so powerful just on its own. Mm -hmm. And I got my business license in January of 2018 and I started my company officially in March. Um, so yeah, I've had it since March 2018. So I've had it for a little over two years, almost two and a half years. Yeah. So while Music is a Drug is not a sober company, it is not just for sober people, it is a company to just show the world. Like I said, whether you use substances or not. You can still have fun yes. and, and live a sober lifestyle. And yes. that's, I love that. But I've had so many people just say that this brand has helped them. You know, a lot of people want to get sober. So it's like help them. It's like, you know what? Music is a drug. Music is all that I need. I mean, I'm going through a really toxic breakup right now and I can say that music has helped me 100% get through this. It's just always there for you no matter what. No matter if you feel so alone, you plug those earbuds uh, in, you just get lost. Or you just go to a show and you stand in the pit. So it's so cool to you know, connect with someone that has such a, an amazing brand, a really great mission that I totally stand by. So um, but yeah, you know, music is definitely, just like you said, you know, gotten you through toxic things. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I can't even tell you how many times that I've had just maybe going through something and I go to a concert or whatever for those two hours, nothing else matters. It is a drug. The adrenaline rush is insane. Oh, you know what I love so much? It's like you're at a show and like, the curtain freaking drops and <laughs> yes. like the band's going and you're like oh my it's just such a it's a high like no other. it's such a your high heart starts beating yes your chest. i go to shows alone and i know she Same. does too and i've literally been like it's happening <laughs> and people are like uh and i'm like oh my gosh i'm so sorry i'm just really excited <laughs> somebody told me the other day they were like some people hear it other people feel it angels and airwaves and blinker miles yeah so she is a huge i would say you're their number one fan Chelsea Cahoon is Blink-182, Tom DeLonge, everything Tom DeLonge does, and <laughs> and Angels and Airways number one fan. A year ago, that's crazy yeah. too, yeah. we were at the same concert. We were at the same show and I didn't know her. This was, I would say, a few months before we officially met at the A Day to Remember show, which is where we met. So there's been many times where her and I have been in the same exact venue, probably walked past each other, probably were dancing next to each other, at these shows and didn't even know each other. <laughs> I wish I could have met you at that show though because it was the best night of my life. Like finally getting to see my favorite band. Yeah. Literally the drug. So she's got all kinds of merch. Girls, guys, everything, you know, shirts. Um, you, I know you got hats. Got a little hat right here. So right now, yeah, t-shirts, tanks, hoodies. I mean, it's getting, getting cold out there. Where can we go to find this stuff? So you're gonna go to musicisthedrug.us. It's not .com, it's .us. That's amazing. Uh, we're gonna start putting out like bomber jackets, which is like kind of like a different look. Um, we're actually gonna get new apparel soon. So I'm actually working with a few designers to get some new merch out there. So stay tuned for that. I don't know, fanny packs are kind of a thing. I'm mm. trying to maybe thinking that. Fanny packs are great when you actually get to go to a festival. Yeah, yeah, just go check it out. There's a lot on there. Um, you can also go to my Instagram page. I have two. I have my Music It's a Drug one. If you just type in Music It's a Drug, it'll pop, pop up. And then my personal is the Sober Raver, which I'm more active on than my brand one. Brand one, I'm, you know, post here and there, but the Sober Raver one is where I actually, you're gonna see me going to all these shows. I mean, not right now. So music festivals are my thing. So if you really wanna see like what I'm doing, go to the Sober Raver. Um, Music is a drug is on there as well. But. So you so you did say that when festivals and everything start picking back up, you actually might be selling your merch at some yeah. of these events. Oh, absolutely, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna start vending at these events, and I'm also gonna try to start like public speaking um, at things too, and maybe like even at festivals, I can have like meetups uh, for people to come and chat with me about life and um, even like getting like sober groups together. So even though this isn't a sober group. Um, it, it's also a safe place for people to like just, you know, be sober. So like at festivals, I try to meet up with people that are in recovery or struggling or something. And that's amazing. To, like have to, you know, kind of make them feel like not so alone. And that's kind of like another thing about this. It's just connecting people through all facets of life. And music is the ultimate drug, guys. The ultimate drug, right? So what would you say to a young budding entrepreneur who wants to start a company but they don't know what they're, they want to do? What would you tell them? 
I would just say freaking follow your passion. Don't let anybody stop you. And yeah. let me just say this too. This is like what stops you. This right mm -hmm. here. Like you are in control of what you do. Just know you can do anything you set your mind to. It's all in here and it's all right here. And if you just follow that intuition, you never stop. And you wake up every day with that mindset that you can do it. You can freaking do it. So yeah. never ever give up on your dreams because they are worth it. And life is short. And just keep hustling, keep doing what you know to do, and you will start to come across people that are like-minded, that share very similar, if not the same, you know, mission and, and interests and goals that you have. Okay, so where do you see yourself in five years with Music Is The Drug? So I definitely want to get this thing global for obvious reasons. I want to spread this mission across the world. Um, and my main goals are to be able to public speak at places across the country, telling them about my story, eventually making it a nonprofit, connecting with other types of organizations and being able to help people that may be struggling. So I have a lot up here that I want to do. Um, and it's going to take a lot of work, but I know it's going to be so worth it. And I know that this mission you know, needs to be heard. And I know that wherever I go, people appreciate it. So I know it has the potential to grow and I know that if I just believe in myself, it's gonna flourish. I love what you're doing, which is why I wanted you to be here today. She came all the way from Virginia. Um, so I thank you so much, Chelsea, and I will give you a hug. Thank you. You're thank you so lady. much for sitting I down with me. Don't let her just hype me up. She's freaking incredible. Oh my so it's honestly, we're so much alike. It's, mm. it's honestly crazy. We talk about it a lot. So I think it's cool that we both <laughs> share this common ground of like wanting to help people, wanting to spread love and light. And yeah, I want to just encourage everyone to find your purpose. What sets your soul on fire? Just mixing all the good vibes, all the music, all the love. That's what, that's what it's all about. So you got music is the drug taking over the world, you guys. So I want you to keep your eyes peeled for, mu for music is the drug. If you see this, it's her. That's Chelsea. So I want you guys to all go support her. Go follow her on Instagram. You can find her on Facebook as well. Are you the Sober Raver on Facebook? I am, yeah, I have a page okay. on Facebook, the Sober Raver and Music is Drug page, so both of them. Awesome, and yeah, her merch, I have some of her merch. Awesome stuff, so go check her out, go freaking follow her, and I hope everyone's having the most amazing day. I love you so much. I love you, Chelsea. Thank I you so you much all. for sitting down with me. Thank you, and Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Y'all are all amazing. And I hope to see you at a festival. It's great. If you see her, go talk it's to great. her. It's great. I'll be the one that's doing it. Do your, do your thing. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye guys.